Hello there, and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash, and it is my privilege to be your host on this journey through men's style, self-development, and personal grooming. Now today, I want to talk about making the most of your casual clothing, because it could be said it's fairly easy to look stylish when you're wearing your best clothing, you know, your, your formal clothing, a suit, a blazer, these things naturally lend themselves to make a person look their best. They give you a great silhouette, and you know, this is historically how we've always thought of intentionally well-dressed men. But when it comes to ordinary life, and let's be fair, the vast majority of us do not wear a suit all the time, every day. We dress down, and it becomes much more challenging to dress well when we're in casual clothing. And this is becoming more important for most of us because casual is the way that most of us dress all the time. You know, very few of us now wear a suit to work. Uh, casual is becoming the way that people dress in the workplace. And we can see that if we look at the statistics which are provided for us by large retailers. Now, in the United Kingdom, where I'm from, uh, we have, you know, the, the, the dominant uh, department store for clothing in the UK is called Marks and & Spencers. And they've been around for many decades so that we're able to draw upon their statistical reference points. So we know when we look at their statistics that the sales of suits, for instance, have more than halved inside of the last sort of 10 years. And that formal clothing is dropping in sales while casual clothing increases year on end. So really, the writing is on the wall. So it is important for us to understand and take advantage from dressing casually, but dressing well. It is, impo 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 it is possible to be an intentionally, casually dressed man, and that's what we're all about today. Now, I think when we look in the dictionary, it'll describe casual as informal, unconcerned, and relaxed. Uh, what it doesn't say is slovenly, slobbish, or uninterested in one's clothing. So let's not think of the word casual as meaning dressing down or dressing like a sloth, because it does not mean that. Only the people who you know, don't understand the value of men's style will fail to take advantage of being a casually well-dressed person. So let me give you my tips on being well-dressed in your casual style. Now, my first tip for you when it comes to casual style is, and it's a classic, you've heard this so many times, I've said this in so many tips and advice videos, it sounds like I'm shouting it into an echo chamber, but it's important. It's the fit of the clothing that you wear. Now, it doesn't matter what you choose as your casual clothing, whether it's a flannel shirt, denim jeans, uh, you know, a sweater, it's your choice. But the way it fits you will be, a, will be a, the big determining factor on whether you look smart and presentable or whether you look slovenly and slob-like. And never forget that, you know, you should always choose a style of clothing and the fit which complements your body type. So that doesn't mean wearing things super tight, as has been the fashion over the last sort of five, six, seven years. Or it doesn't mean taking no interest in your clothing at all and just buying extra large in everything and having really baggy clothing, which is shapeless. It doesn't show off the contours and the lines of your body. There's just nothing to it at all. It doesn't mean that. Your casual clothing should fit you well. Excuse my horse just coming behind me here. Um, it should fit you well. And you know, even if you've bought a nice pair of jeans, your, your denim jeans are an expensive investment in your wardrobe these days. There's, you know, you can buy cheap jeans, but people tend not to. Uh, so if they don't fit you just right, go to the seamstress or the tailor and have them altered so that they do fit you well. Because if they fit you, uh, you know, nicely and they accent your physique, you're going to look so much better even though you're wearing your casual clothes. So as I say, casual doesn't mean that you're a slob. Make those casual clothes fit you perfectly, take that trip to the tailor, and you're gonna look great. 
Now, my next tip for being a casual well-dressed man is to discover your individual style. Do not fall into the trap of thinking that casual is streetwear or athleisure, as people tend to go into these days, you know, wearing sweatpants and a, a sweatshirt for everything. That isn't casual, that is what you wear to the gym. So unless you're going to the gym, don't wear those clothings as your habitual everyday wear. Now what you choose as casual is going to be individual to you, and it'll be determined by a number of things, by your age, by your background, your geographical location, the type of things that you're going to do in those clothes. These are the things which will drive the direction you take in the wardrobe that you pick. Now you may be a particularly conservative individual, and for you, casual is, you know, corduroy trousers and a shirt with a collar. To somebody else, that may be quite smart attire, but if for you that is casual, well, that's fine. You know, find your own individual style. Do not follow the herd and just put on a tracksuit because that's all that your contemporaries are wearing when you see them, either in work or in the, in the pub or wherever you hang out with people. Follow your instinct, follow your style, and you will feel more comfortable, and you will feel more confident. And are they not the real reasons why we take an interest in men's style? To feel better and to look better as we go through life. Now my next tip to be an intentionally, casually dressed man is keep it simple. I've said this many times as well, but actually when it comes to casual, it's probably at its most important. Because in my experience of being interested in style and, and the way people present themselves in the best possible way, being as simple as possible in your clothing is the key to looking your best. Because those classical items, like a bomber jacket, uh, simple, you know, chino trousers, the brogue shoe, a pea coat, uh, you know, a flat cap. These items have been around for decades, in some cases, you know, almost a hundred years, and they are devoid of the impact of fast fashion. So if you buy something which is fashionable this season, and next season it's no longer in vogue, it'll stay in your wardrobe because you feel conscious wearing something which isn't fashionable anymore. But if you buy an elegant and timelessly classic item, it's going to serve you well for decades, as long as you choose to wear it. Those simple items, as I mentioned, will never go out of style, because how do we know? Well, they've been in style for 50 plus years, and that hasn't changed. So if we project forward for another 50 years, the chances are they're still going to be in style. So you can afford to invest in confidence, in the knowledge that you're going to look good in those items, they're not going to go out of fashion, they're going to accentuate your physique, make you look intentionally well-dressed, even in a classic mode, and you won't go far off the mark. Okay, gents, so my next tip for the casually well-dressed man is the devil is in the detail. We've heard this before as well, in other modes of our clothing, our style, but it's very true when it comes to casual, because Sometimes it's not what you wear that makes it formal or casual, it's the way in which you wear it. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's look at our traditional white dress shirt, all right? That white dress shirt can be worn with a tuxedo, a dinner jacket. If you wear a bow tie with it, in that situation, it is the most formal shirt that you will ever need in your wardrobe. However, take the same white shirt and throw it on under a sweater. Semi-formal, semi-casual. Take that same white shirt, untuck it from your trousers, roll the sleeves up, and it's a casual day-to-day -day item. So not so much the item itself, but the way that you wear it. Another very flexible example is the navy blazer. One of my all-time favorite versatile items of clothing. The navy blazer, when worn with a, a dress shirt, a tie, a pair of uh, grey flannel slacks or chinos, it's a very smart item. It can be worn in place of a suit in most situations. However, take that same navy blazer 
and you could wear it with an open collared shirt, uh, with you know, with a pair of jeans even, and it becomes semi-formal, verging on the casual. So you could wear it to a you know a backyard barbecue, throw on a few different items with it, and you can wear it to work the next day and not look out of place at all in the boardroom. That is the beauty of the items that we wear. So. The devil is in the detail. It's what you place with the items, the accessories, which often make the difference. Now, my next piece of advice for you is when you find your casual style, make it your uniform. So I guess we've all got a favorite suit. All right? I know I have. I've got a number of suits which I always go to when I want to feel confident because I know they look good on me. I feel uh, the best possibly a sartorially dressed version of myself when I'm wearing one of those suits. The same goes for your casual clothing, right? If you've got a pair of chinos that fit you really well, um, you know, and you know you look good, you feel confident, go and buy some more of those chinos in different colours. If you find an item which fits you perfectly and it makes you feel that way, that good, invest in more because you know that's going to work for you in the future too. If you like certain sweaters, certain uh, shirts that, that you know you look good in, you see the photographs of yourself when you're with other people and you know, you're out and about and you think, this looks good. People compliment you on the way that you look. Make that your casual uniform. It'll make life very much easier for you because, you know, when we go to work and you know you're going to wear a suit, collar and tie, it's easy. You choose your items, you've got your confidence there in the palm of your hand. Casually, a bit more diff difficult unless you select your casual uniform style. So every time you put those items on, they may be casual, but you know they are going to look good on you and you can leverage that confidence to achieve greater success in your life. Now, my last tip for you today is to invest in some signature items that will underpin your whole casual look. Because let's be honest, you know, you walk down the street and the majority of men are very casual in nature. They are wearing athleisure wear, right? So sweatpants and things like that to, to go about their normal lives. They've probably never been anywhere near a gym, but they choose to dress in that way because it's comfortable. It doesn't look great, but it's comfortable. But by buying a few signature pieces, you can that can underpin your casual wardrobe. They will elevate all of the other items that you wear. So to give you an example, um, let's look at outerwear. I often, you often see me wearing one of these, a barber jacket, because the barber, yes, it costs a few pounds, but you will buy one once every 20 years. They last forever. They do a practical job. When you meet me casually, I might be wearing an inexpensive sweater, a shirt, cheap chinos. But because the item which is most visually apparent is my barber jacket, it will elevate all the other items I put with it. With it, same can your shoes can do the same effect. So you know, footwear has a great, uh, often has a great way of elevating the clothing that you wear. So get a nice pair of brogue dress boots or something of that nature, because you know when you wear those items, that's what will draw the eye, and it will boost the look of everything else that you put with it. You might be wearing a pair of. $10 jeans, denim jeans, but with a beautiful pair of nice leather dress boots, it just makes the look so much more fancy and more elevated. And you know, you can take that detail to any level you wish. A nice pair of sunglasses. A nice pair of sunglasses because when somebody looks at you, they meet you, they look into your eyes, they look at your face, their attention is drawn to the simplistic attraction of your glasses. Even things like wristwatches. If you want to draw the eye Put those little details in with your clothing and it will elevate the whole look simply. And these items, well, they last for decades. So it's an investment to boost up that casual appearance and leverage you to greater confidence and making a first impression on the people that you meet. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed today's conversation around making the most of your casual style and boosting it up a little in just a few simple steps. If you have, I would be delighted if you would give the video a thumbs up. You know the drill, click the red button if you're not already a subscriber. 
If you'd like to practically support the channel, you can buy me a coffee and you will find a link to the buy me a coffee page in the show notes below. If you think I have forgotten something or missed something out, let me know in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. So until the next time, rock your casual look regardless of what you're doing. Life isn't all about wearing a collar and tie. Equally, we want to feel comfortable when we're being casual, and that can be achieved quite easily. So until the next time, take care of yourselves, and I will see you again very soon.